In this video, we'll talk about how to use TurboTax to file a W-2 or 1099. So you have to have the home and business version of TurboTax to do this. And you basically open up TurboTax here. And instead of starting a new return, you'll just check prepare W-2s and 1099s for my employees or contractors. And then it has a couple options here. You can either do this preparation online or you can do it on your computer using this software. So we'll choose the desktop version. <clears throat> now it's searching for tax files from last year so that it can import any information from last year's tax return. As it searches for that, I'll show you here, you can also browse for uh, old TurboTax return, an H&R block return, or something from Tax Act. So it found one, but I'm going to continue without doing that. And this is just like the normal TurboTax software. It walks you through step by step to fill out these forms for your employees. So you just choose which one. If you have actual employees, you would do a 10 uh, W-2. If you paid contractors, you would fill out a 1099. So we'll pick a W-2 here. You'll fill in your company information, sole proprietorship, LLC, corporation, etc. No, we'll pick uh, we'll pick an LLC since it's making me choose one. Then you would put in your business information here, your EIN, and you just click through and answer the the information here. If you have a state ID number, put that in there. The contact person. Do you want to prepare the forms? Yes. Oops, I should have said yes. I'll say yes. Okay. So it won't let me do it without an EIN, but that's basically what happens. You walk through, and then after this, you can enter in the employee information. Now, if you need to do a 1099, you can do that on this tab. Let's let's walk through that. Okay. So you'll enter in all of the person's information. Of course, you'll need their social security number or tax identification number, their full name. And if they are a business, you'll need that name also. Okay. And you just enter it in and continue to click through. And then finally, it'll it will complete an analysis to make sure the forms are filled out properly and then you can actually submit them um, to the IRS. You can print out copies here, you can save a PDF and I guess it also gives you an option here to uh, review TurboTax if you want to do that. So that's it in a nutshell. That's TurboTax.